Trevor Noah on Tuesday addressed the latest revelations regarding the investigation into potential collusion between the Trump campaign and the Kremlin, particularly the release of damning emails exchanged between the former Trump adviser Felix Sater and Donald Trump's longtime personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. As you know by now, the Trump campaign's possible ties to Russia are currently under investigation, both by Congress and separately by Robert Mueller, the special counsel and handsome bird impersonator, Noah began. Just to refresh everyone, the big question in all of this is what was the connection between Donald Trump and the Russian government? And all along, the Donald has always answered that question like this. Noah showed several clips of Trump denying he has connections to Russia, claiming he knows nothing about Russia, has no loans and furthermore has no deals there. I don't even know what a Russia is, Noah said, impersonating the president. On my map, there's China and then there's white China. So from the beginning, Trump insisted he had absolutely no connections with Russia whatsoever, Noah continued. And then this morning, this came out. Yes, during the campaign Donald Trump totally had connections to Russia, Trevor Noah the host summarized new reporting that reveals Trump signed a letter of intent during the 2016 presidential campaign to build a new Trump Tower in Moscow the project was slated to be the tallest building in the world. How can one person lie so big Noah went on? You have no connections with Russia but you signed a deal to build the world's tallest building there. Like, the gap between the lie and the truth could not be wider. Noah continued we suspected this before and now it's confirmed. Yes, during the campaign Donald Trump totally had connections to Russia. The people who Trump signed this Russia deal with aren't exactly helping his case. Noah then introduced Sater, a former FBI informant and convicted felon who acted as the middleman between Trump and Russia in facilitating the deal. Sater, Noah explained, was convicted for stabbing a man in the face and neck with a margarita glass in a bar fight. Trump Tower is the only place where ticking yes on criminal conviction is what gets you the job, Noah quipped. And in case you were wondering, yes, this Sater guy is also Russian. Apparently Felix Sater also committed non-stabbing crimes including $40 million of stock fraud. Noah showed footage of Trump officials denying their involvement with Sater despite the existence of his business cards, which read senior advisor to Donald Trump. Come on, guys, Noah said. This is the same lie as the Russia one. I have nothing to do with this guy. Oh, actually, H.E.S. my senior advisor and I printed it in gold. But the big story ISNT just that this shady, Russian-born criminal was acting as a middleman between Trump and the Kremlin. The real story here is what the shady guy was saying. The Daily Show host then read aloud a newly released email chain between Sater and Cohen, Trump's personal lawyer. In it, Sater writes, Buddy, our boy can become president of the USA and we can engineer it. I will get all of Putin's team to buy in on this. So this buddy boy email may not be the smoking gun for Trump, but what it could end up being is the broken tail light, Noah explained. The thing that gives law enforcement the excuse they need to look into Trump's trunk. And we all know H.E.S. got a lot of junk in that trunk.